G'day folks, Lincoln here, your KMR run director at the beautiful, underneath the beautiful organ pipes on Canany Mount Wellington. What a perfect day. It's not always like this. With the Southern Ocean right there, the weather can get pretty gnarly. So that's why we've got mandatory gear. Let's check it out. So, mandatory gear for the KMR Ultra all fits in a five litre vest, pretty comfortably. So, what do we have first? Importantly, a zip pocket. So you can put all your rubbish in there, dedicated just for that rubbish. A head torch, must have minimum 300 lumens. Emergency food, jelly beans are great. High energy, high glucose. Water bottles, uh, four of these gives you the, your two liters that you need. Waterproof, weatherproof jacket, seam sealed, hood, get them anywhere. They are great. What else we got? The uh, dry bag to keep your thermal, um, your insulation dry. It doesn't keep you as warm if it's completely wet. When, it, when you put your insulation on, um, you want to get those wet weathers on straight away. So we've got <coughs> merino or polypropylene long johns for the Ultra. And a winter weight or, uh, for the Ultra or, or mid weight uh, merino or polypropylene um, thermal top. So importantly, when to put stuff on? Well, as soon as you start thinking about it, if you're thinking maybe, should I? Now's the time. So it's all very well packed. We've got uh, the ultra only um, uh, waterproof pants. Gloves need to be warm when they're wet. These are some neoprene ones, but any good outdoor gloves will, will suffice. Beanie, merino or polypropylene or something else, good. Waterproof map, we'll give you that one, won't be that one. <laughs> and emergency instructions, they will, will also provide that for you. Ah, a whistle. Now, whistles come with every, uh, every trail running vest. If yours doesn't have one, ready, loud noises. Right, reflective vest for running at night, ultras. Compass for knowing when north is up just in case your phone dies, which it shouldn't do. Compression bandage, snakes, rolled ankles, all that good stuff. One of the most important bits of gear, a bag, emergency bag, space blankets, no good, because uh, you can imagine what happens with the wind, you need a bag. And a phone, one of the, the most important bits, must have battery, so carry a, uh, a spare battery if it's not going to last, if you're using Strava or, or the like. But we will check your battery at the end. Uh, and you need to have a Venza. So uh, let's have a quick look here at a Venza maps. So you can see the, uh, your location on the actual map itself. There we go. As you can see, it's not much. Go to find your feet. They've got almost everything you need there and uh, stay safe out there. Happy training.